going to show you how to make oil out here in the woods. Birch bark is loaded with oil. I'm going to be extracting the oil. You'll need a couple things for this. One is a metal can of some kind. Has to have a lid. And I've poked three holes in the lid. And I've poked a hole in the bottom of the can, right in the center. I've bent the bottom in kind of a rounded shape. And a soup can or something. Now I'm going to dig a hole in the ground in the middle of my fire pit. This will be where the empty soup can goes. You want it just deep enough to where the top of the soup can is about an inch underground. Then I'll fill in the sides, trying not to get any dirt into the can. Then I'll take a bunch of birch bark and roll it up, then stuff it into the other can. I'll put the lid on. I'll set this on top of the soup can. I'll bury the bottom with about an inch of dirt or so. Then I'll add these rocks around it just so it doesn't tip over. Then I'll use some birch bark to get a fire going. Then I'll build the fire around the can. You want the fire to be hot but not blazing hot. If it's too hot, the oil will get too thick like a tar. So I'm going to let this cook for about one and a half to two hours. You can see the gases escaping from the can are on fire. Once all those gases burn out, it'll be about done. I'll scrape the ashes and dirt out of the way and then I'll pull the can up. And now we have extracted the birch oil. There won't be much left of the bark, it'll be charred and crumbled. The oil is going to have some water in it, but it'll separate. You can treat leather or your tools with it. It can be used as a lubricant or wood preservative, bug repellent. It has medicinal properties and a ton of other uses.